Good morning all. I just came down this morning after the rains. Not uh, a lot of rain. We had 20 millimeters, which is just nice. Grass at least is going to recover. It's been extremely dry in the last while, and obviously February is our hottest month. It's so extremely hot. But I came down just to have a look at the sea because I'm thinking of maybe fishing a little later. And uh, to see this channel, inverted commas, the new channel, still getting water on a high tide, it really excites me. And uh, high tide was at 5.30 this morning. And if I zoom in there, there's our, our marker. And uh, you can see how the water is flowing down here. And so the more, the more, the more the water comes. So it digs away at this channel and makes it deeper and deeper. And uh, if I zoom in there, you can actually see the flow of the water going down. So uh, yeah, exciting. And at one stage I thought that this might not happen. But like I keep saying in all my videos, I'm just showing you what I see. And uh, it didn't look good to me, but uh, nature, like I said, is doing its own thing and will continue to do its own thing as much as we wanted to do something different. But this is so cool to see. Climax rigging here. Off to go and attempt. Get some marlin, been a few around. The marlin come on the one day one boat raised four. Managed to land two. All the outrig is ready. Oh, impressive. Impressive. The boys are amped to go up to do this. Oh, always worry that the pole is going to come out when it drops over like that. Done. Oh, how's that? <laughs> All right, so now I've come up to the highest point or the highest dune. And there's our other markers, the, the ones that warn us about the crocodiles and the cast netting. But what's really interesting is I come down and you can see how it's still breaking away the sea is eating at it and uh, if I come down really close you can see these cracks and uh, it'll break away again I'm sure and especially if we get a, a really big sea and just eating and eating and eating away at this dune and if I zoom across so then the background, in the middle of the screen, you can see that other little channel that we've just spoken about. And then he has another little bay forming. If I zoom into the, the other dune, and those of you who may have watched my videos with the launching will see that I 
at one stage I launched the boats coming through standing on the back end of the dune or just behind the dune but you can see that big log that is now sticking out there and uh, when I was doing those videos that log wasn't there so uh, yeah the ocean is eating away at these dunes which is really really good to see and I'll just give you a bit of a general scan basically from the mouth up towards my line. you can see the color line as the tide starts to drop beautiful color line this I expect to see lots of activity of predators game fish beating up the the small bait fish it's not happening so really interesting to see I start to zoom you can see the color line as the fresh water starts to push the salt water back Lazy River there and then the water from the lake system and uh, part of the challenge the salt water has to get into the system is having to push itself or force itself up against this fresh water the color line there and then around the corner into the system so the key is to get if we wanted lots of salt water in the system these dunes that I'm standing on now have to be removed and uh, only the sea will be able to do that or if we have a cyclone um, come in and eat these dunes away and move them into the sea but yeah it makes for interesting viewing and uh, it's amazing how nature just changes this mouth all the time and uh, that's why I enjoy not coming down every single day because uh, when I come down and give it a gap, you can see how the difference is from the last time I was here. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, until the next one, be safe, everybody.